We are on scene to hear what the Port Huron Parks and Rec has to say about the fresh new look at Gresham Park during today's formal ceremony. My favorite thing is coming here and seeing the kids' faces, seeing how excited they are, seeing what an impact it's making on them, um, getting kids outside in different ways, and this is another example of that. MRS, Michigan Rehabilitation Services, came to us as well, done a lot of fundraising. Hannah Winkling Foundation has done a lot of fundraising. It's so important in our community, just bringing everyone together to do great things, and that's what this is about. Behind you an arch that's interactive, we have a splash pad that's completely accessible with no obstacles there. We have completely ramped um, playscape. We have a wheelchair swing with a companion and cozy uh, dome for, you know, it's supposed to be, I think all kids love it, but like, you know, for autism, so you have a moment with sensory free area. We developed the Hannah R. Winkler Memorial Scholarship Fund in 2020 um, for Hannah's, the first birthday after she had passed away to help us to be able to brief and just some comfort to know that we were still honoring her and keeping her memory alive. With a lot of kids with disabilities, including Hannah, they're on medications that cause them not to be able to be in the sun for long periods of time. They also are susceptible to dehydration, so they need shade. And that's when we came up with the idea of, wow, I wonder if we could actually raise enough money to put a pavilion in. That would be super cool. It really needed it, and it was so successful we were able to donate for the pavilion. Last year was even more successful, so we decided to donate the arch that's there, the interactive arch. We're so excited for Port Huron to have uh, a playground like this that's really extremely rare in Michigan to have this kind of inclusive playground that kids of all abilities can enjoy. It's, it's so important because we have a lot of people that you know have various challenges and they can really benefit from a playground like this. So we're just thrilled to see it get built out. And the local uh, government staff, uh, Nancy Windsor and her staff, have done just such a fantastic job building this playground uh, for the community. It's, it, we couldn't be happier for Port Huron. The Port Huron Parks and Rec would like to thank their supporters and sponsors for making this possible. Hearing it today, the Gresham Park invites you to come and play. I'm Melissa Painter for Thumb Coast TV.